Um, so we're back. Um, so, um, before I start with the second case, or the second turnabout or episode or whatever, um, I just thought I'd bring attention to something. Um, I, I recall that the previous case I kept going on about the soundtrack. The soundtrack of this game is pretty meh compared to the others, even the first, but it's got its own epic moments in between. Like that ringtone. I'm sorry, I like that ringtone, okay. And also the throwback to the Steel Samurai music. Shows how great the Steel Samurai music is. Um, speaking of the epicness of the Steel Samurai music, um, fun fact, there's an orchestral version of the entire soundtrack of all the games, even the spin-offs, not the crossover spin-off, everything else. That's Investigations, the Great Attorney, or whatever that is, the Ancestral one, and this series, the Attorney series itself. It's a pretty great video. Um, I've put the link of the entire orchestral music set itself in the description um so i would recommend you guys to just click and just enjoy it one of my favorites is at minute eight it's the pursuit of the fifth game that's dual destinies while i'm not fond of that game I cannot deny it's amazing music and in the orchestral form it just sounds so so good and of course stay back for the very last song that will be around three minutes before the end it's an epic one especially in the orchestra oh anyway so yeah just had that to say and moving on um, from the next case on which I'll just directly start with the case opening not with this one because usually these pictures tend to come at the end of the case normally luckily for the first two it's not a spoiler so it's cool so yeah One thing is the skill. entire game justice for all credit for making things hyped and as dramatic as possible at the same time so interesting in the start even though the music ain't great even though i find things a bit of a drag at times i cannot deny that the characters in this game are amazing the idea behind the cases are amazing and of course the brilliant final case so um yeah keep in mind from now on i think i'll stop fangirling over anything and i mean i mean i won't keep going on and about the other things anymore because we have got this case and i want to get it over with plus we are going to meet our adorable friend So I'm going to start gushing when I, when I get there. Oh, in case you forgot, this is like the events. One sec. This is all the events that happened uh, two months ago. 
that's what phoenix said right in the previous video or uh, was it two weeks ha 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 anyways so yes it's basically the events that occurred before the first case naturally because maya was with us in the first case and he was just narrating about it Me the finger. Capcom, I know what you're doing. Show me the finger. Indirectly. Hmm. Yeah. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's what I do with my glasses too. So, still. <laughs> joke do you know where else we have a dr gray Remember folks, we are in the heart from Japan to Fonia, we have moved to Korea, Korean village, okay? The most Japanese of Japanese places. I'm sorry. 
Look at this guilty but dirty. Isn't she looking so cute? That's all I have to say. What a cute little girl. She like a pearl. Faces. Just compare her with Mia's face. You see the resemblance. Sort of. Mr. Grey just thought about everything for us.
this thing. <laughs> we can't do our basically we just can't do our ritual unless in it's investigation time. Just thought I pointed out because we got a nice prologue before the case. Oh wait. <laughs> his job lawyering perfectly well with amnesia boo okay continue <laughs> ever since you got the spiky hair man
this. Ouch. That word on. Phoenix be looking at that incinerator right from the start. I don't know why. That's it. And we go. Shouldn't disturb them, but you know what? Next exam. <laughs> I like how Phoenix has been with Maya so uh, for long enough to understand what's spirit medium channeling and stuff, but not exactly get a great good grasp on it because you know when Maya left him and stuff. But at the same time, he's just so confused that because this magic exists in the spirits, I mean, because the spirits exist, magic exists, and he can just get spelled. Some spell can be put and all that. I think that's it. Phoenix has been a, has been living a very sad life, not seen sliding doors at all. Get ready! Remember how in particular uh, it, um, I never used to think that this was a hair. Like I got just supposed to be southern ear and stuff, but I didn't think about the hair. I thought that was just a fancy headgear. Don't ask me how, but I did okay. It was only when I reached this part of the game and I was curious what the dialogue said for a lot of hair and just making fun of my I realized oh my god, that thing's a hair. She has an afro. And this is her hairband, not her hair. I just initially thought this was a weird headgear and she had grey hair, even though she was in university. I apply the Miles Edgeworth's hair is kind of grey, kind of thing, kind of, you know, silver grey kind of logic to it. Okay. Anyway, so yeah.
Phoenix. Sweet, sweet, innocent liar. Cool, right? Yeah, you use the dumb phone. It looks like a Nokia thingy.
Phoenix being called dramatic. A murder has taken place. Yep. You heard her. I mean, more like read her lines. Yeah. I mean, sorry. Okay, whatever.
<laughs> uh, let's get that. Uh, is it too spiky? Not spiky enough? <laughs> Fun fact, um, in the fifth game or something, Phoenix just goes like, it's natural. So yeah, the spikes are natural apparently. But they're soft, not pokey. Yeah. Sounds weird, right? No, wait. This one. Okay, nothing has happened to it yet. Let's see. Boop, boop, boop. She's just so cute. I just feel like doing it again and again, okay? She does it so cutely. I would gasp and she's gone. I have to come back. There we go. I'm sorry, I'm busy doing it again and again. It's just so cute. Okay, fine, we're done. I'm not doing anything else, okay? Okay. I'm done with it. I just find it so cute the way she just gasps and just goes like Here's the reason why some people start shipping Nick and Maya actually because of the rapport they have and the way they interact and the way that they are for each other. For me it's more like sibling squabbles or like how you would care for another person if they are your sibling or like you know your sister from another mother kind of a thing. Anyways I just wanted to say that before we continue and get to the heart of the matter at this point.
This is actually kind of an important thing, you know. Uh, whenever a chanting is done, she won't know what happens. the end what was playing the detention center when Maya broke We're not met Paul yet. Paul! Cutie Patuki!
Okay, here's the part which I kind of get bugged with this game in particular. You will see the gimmick why I'm not overly fond of it. It's not here right now, but it will slowly come. But around the sequence, in case you haven't realized what happened.
Get ready. And there you have it. You know what? I say we stop over here. Perfect point to stop. <laughs> Goodbye.